How you guys doing? This is Josie, and this month we'll talk about ideas and how to turn those ideas into a song in the arrangement view. And we'll cover a little bit about navigation from your controller, which can be helpful visually. Um, as always, please follow me on Instagram, Pretty Hybrid, and check out my website, prettyhybrid.club, and download some free sounds and check out some other sounds as well. So yeah, let's get to it. Uh, please also subscribe if you can. It helps me continue to do videos. So here we go. First, let's cover navigation from the controller. Um, I already have my software open and you know when you open the software it opens up in the ideas view which is the same thing to the Ableton clips view um, I think they shared some ideas from there or mm, took the idea from there <laughs> in any case um, yeah so I have my software open I am in the ideas view and let's go to the controller here and in the controller you'll see to get into the navigation mode, we'll hit shift, navigate, okay, it doesn't matter, I'm on the MK3, it doesn't matter if you're on the MK2, it's the same deal. Shift, navigate, which is, shift corresponds to everything that is not bold on any button, so whatever's underneath the bold. So the navigate is under the variation button, and I will hit that to get into the navigate mode. The navigate, uh page has two pages it has the page navigate if you hold shift you see page navigate which allows you to navigate through different pages of whatever plugin you have open I have the sampler open so here I can see the voice settings the pitch the effects and all that that are the pages that are in my sampler I'm not a huge fan of that per se but some people might like it. I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to hit page navigate again. I'm going to get out of there and it's going to bring me into what I enjoy more, which is the ideas, the song, the mixer, the browser, and the follow button. If I click on song, which is the arrangement here on my controller, on my software, you'll see that it went into the arrangement up here view. Okay, and if I hit ideas it took me back into my ideas views which you guys can see I can open up my mixer as well up there I can expand my mixer or not okay so I enjoy that sometimes when you're working you really have to see the same thing on the software so this helps to quickly get on there you know so if we go into the arrangement uh, for example, if we go into the arrangement view, there's more options at the bottom here. If you can take a look at it, you can zoom in your timeline on there. You can scroll if you wanted to. If you had a pattern, you can make your pattern bigger. And let's go to, let me go into the ideas view here. Okay, and you can see everything changed in the software again. And at the bottom here, you'll see some options as well for zooming in your pattern. You see that, which is pretty cool. And if you take a look here, I'm going to highlight my kick on my software. You see the height of that? You can make that bigger here by zooming the Y two times and zoom in some more. So it's a pretty cool way to navigate and stuff like that when you are um, doing some pretty intricate edits and things like that. So that's pretty much for the navigation aspect from the controller which I think is very useful use it so now let's move into the ideas view uh, again to recap when we open up the software it opens up an ideas view which is the same thing as Ableton clips view and here we are so let's talk a little bit about this ideas page the idea behind the ideas right uh, clever right yeah okay so at the bottom here we have Group A, Group B, Group C, D, E, F, and if we have more groups, they would be here at the bottom. Okay. The scenes on the top, okay, a scene is made up of different groups in a different pattern in each group. So basically, Group A, I'm using pattern number two for this scene, which is called my intro. I'm using pattern number two from Group B, pattern number three from Group C, pattern number two from group D and pattern number one for me. I have no patterns in group F because I've chosen to use group F as my effects machine. That's a whole nother video. So now that is what my first intro is made up. It's made up of these groups in a pattern of each group. 
I created another scene by hitting the plus sign here and it created scene number two and for scene number two in my group B I changed my pattern and let's go to one that has more stuff um, we'll go to this one and this one I changed all the patterns group A is playing that pattern group B is playing that pattern C and so forth so basically this is just a way to get these ideas down quickly I'm not committing to a song I'm just saying well does this pattern from this group work with this pattern to create this scene it's a cool way to get ideas you know I think it's pretty dope so let's go back to my intro scene right and to label my scene I double click on it and I can type in whatever name okay we'll call this guy here I'm not gonna call that anything we'll skip that scene we'll call this one intro 2 I double click now I'm gonna write intro 2 on there okay and now we'll go to scene four and we'll call that the chorus see so I'm starting to build my song I've, I did this before you know I did the video so you guys wouldn't have to sit here and watch me do this you guys it's easier when you guys get your hands on it and I'll call this my pre-chorus okay and I'll show you some interesting I'm going to play my intro right let me just get out of here for a second I'm going to play my intro Okay. It's playing. See, I can essentially while I'm listening to this, since I haven't committed it to a song in the arrangement, I can play around and say well, maybe I like that better for an intro. But no, let's keep it simple. You know, let's, let me go to scene intro two. Do I want to put that there? You see, it actually lets you, you know, mess around and stuff. Let me go here to this chorus. Maybe I don't want the melody. So essentially all I'm doing is on the fly just getting ideas by sticking by sticking in different patterns from different groups and creating making sure that that scene will be what I want for my chorus before um, I commit it to the arrangement. Again to, to label them double click up top the name and you can label them there. Uh, it's a pretty cool way to get ideas and you know and start to get your song together. So I pretty much zeroed it and I said, you know what, I kind of like this scene, these particular patterns from these groups to create my intro scene. I like my chorus as well, my chorus too, and my pre-chorus. And forgive me for messing up a classic like Show Me Love, but we needed some stuff for this video, so I decided why not massacre another classic. Um, so yeah, I've created these parts, uh, these scenes in the ideas view. Now I want to turn them into a song in the arrangement view. So here we go into the arrangement by hitting this little icon here on the side. And you can see that my arrangement is empty. Okay. So how do we add? We'll go back into the ideas view and we'll go to intro and we control click on the name. If you're on a Mac, I think if you're on a PC, it might be alt. Uh, don't quote me on it. I'm not a PC girl. So we're going to control click on that and we're going to go append to song. You can see that it's been added to the arrangement here. Now what's cool about this is you can make this longer if you hold your mouse by the end here on the name in between the patterns and the cycle and stretch it out. You can make that scene longer and which is a pretty cool addition to the later software versions that they've released go back into here we'll take intro 2 again same deal control click on it append to song okay we'll go into chorus 1 append to song we'll do a pre-chorus append to song okay chorus 2 append to song mind you you can double any one of these up that you want to you can duplicate it you can delete it you can clear it you can make it unique when you make it unique it takes all the patterns that are on there and it makes copies of them so then you can go into those patterns and edit, edit them okay I'll show you I'll take the cards too and I'll make a unique duplicate of it you see it created the same scene and duplicated those patterns as well so now I can go into these patterns and actually sh change stuff without changing the other um, chorus so it's pretty cool I'm gonna undo that ok 
Okay, and now let's go back into the arrangement and take a look at what we added. I'll, I'm doing it on the software first, by the way, and then I'll do it from the controller. So there you have it. This is the ideas that I had in the ideas view turned into a song in the arrangement view. And I can make any of these longer by hovering my mouse and just making that longer there. I'll play a little bit of it, but I'll fast forward through it. I'm going to hold shift and turn my knob to fast forward. So that's pretty much how you take your ideas and you turn them into a song in the arrangement via the software. Now let's do it via the controller. And before we do that, what we want to do is we want to remove these out of there. We can control click remove. Okay. Or alt if you're on a PC, but don't quote me. If you know how to do it, just write it in the comments and help those PC uh, brethren get it. Okay, so now we'll go back into the ideas view here. Okay. Uh, remember we talked about getting into the ideas view from the controller. Um, and as you can see, we are here in the ideas view, but we want to go into the arrangement because now we want to take these ideas and turn them into an arrangement. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to hit section up here. And it'll take me, as you can see, into the arrangement. And I have nothing in my arrangement. I'm going to create my first scene in the arrangement by hitting the first pad on there. And here you'll see at the bottom, it has position number one. What do you want to add from your ideas view? What scene? I'm say I want my intro because I labeled it all nice so I wouldn't be confused when I get here. Organization and labeling is very helpful. And please make sure that you are conscious of that as you create music because the better you get, the more that it's going to be helpful for you. So the length here, you can change it. I can make it longer or shorter. I'll keep it the same. I don't want to make it longer. I'll go to my scene two. For my scene two, I'll take intro two, three, we'll do the chorus. And later on, I can go back and change them. You see, I said, no, maybe I don't want that. So that's a cool thing about it. You're not stuck with it. Uh, scene four will be my pre-chorus and that one will be my chorus two and I'll make that one double the length on there okay and there you have it here you can duplicate a scene if you see it up here you can make it unique if you decide to duplicate here you see you hit the unique button and you can make it unique um, but we're not going to do that let's undo that Okay, so you can remove here and you can create a new one as well. And it has four banks, two banks, I'm sorry. So you can, you know, create to your heart content. So yeah, there you have it. Um, let's have a listen. And again, we fast forward by holding shift and turning. See what's happening here, right? I'm turning and I'm stuck on one scene because the loop is on, which is I'm glad I'm glad that happened. I want to play my whole song, but I've only it's only playing the selected one. The way that we play the whole song is by holding the first one and the last step of the song. Now we'll play from the beginning. As you can see, the loop has changed to the end. Okay, we'll hit restart so it'll play from the beginning for us. Do it. And if I wanted to concentrate on just the chorus, if I hit chorus, since I have my loop back, if it'll go to that. See, at any time I can do that. It'll play the whole song. Let's just work on that one. That one. You know. So there you have it. That's how you are able to turn your ideas into a song in the arrangement. Um, one last thing I want to leave you guys with is if you go up here to this, uh, on the software and you'll see this tool here and it has re-trigger. Okay. When you are in the ideas view, okay, 
and you um let's use the shortcut navigate remember that when you are in the ideas view and you want to switch between scenes okay the retrigger matters because retrigger means that it will when you hit that next scene it will start from the very beginning so if this scene this scene is playing it would actually stop it in the middle of it and just start the other one abruptly so your timing has to be really good if you're into that great I prefer the retrigger because it actually waits for the last thing to play before it switches Less abrupt, uh, so it's up to you it's your choice maybe you, you're one of those people that has excellent timing and could do really some really cool stuff I mean there's a lot of uh, people out there that do some incredible stuff so it's up to you so all your choice um, that's it for the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always please follow me on Instagram pretty hybrid check out my website pretty hybrid club uh, grab some free downloads and some more sounds I'm starting to add more uh, stuff to it so I'm excited about that and as always keep banging out music respect mm -hmm.